Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will spend a lot of the time and we will spend all our knowledge what I did before in my previous video about Dynamo. So if you didn't check it, check it before you will start to do this project because it will help you to understand how to create for example kind of forms like we will create today. As you can see, uh, actually it's really pretty simple, we will create in this tutorial, we will do from the A to the B, I mean the, from the zero to the end, we will create this kind of shapes and we will export it to the Revit, so this is, will be a real physical model, what you can use, and actually this is fully parametrical. So how I can did it, uh, how you can did it, I will show you in this tutorial, so take a rest, this is a really huge tutorial, but now you will understand why you need to know all the things about the points in Dynamo. So let's get started. So for this tutorial you don't need any special libraries, we will use the standard one. So take a rest and let's start slowly. First we need a rectangular, let's find the rectangular. Uh, first I will go to the uh, inside of this library and I will find the rectangular. I need the width and length. So let's use it, and as you can see here on the back screen, we can see already our rectangular. Let's a bit uh, to zoom it in, and you can see it here. So I will then switch on my pen. So uh, by these two uh, things, you can uh, manipulate with the size of your rectangular. Let's m make the some size. I will use the code block. Just double click on the left uh, left uh, mo left bottom of the mo your mouse and let's make like 4000 meter, I mean 4, 4 meter, 4000 millimeter by 4 meter. So do like I'm doing on the uh, code block and you will get now two different mm, numbers. Connect one to the other one and as you can see we need now zoom out. Let's zoom out. As you can see here is our the rectangular. Let's go back to the our code and I want to change actually the my render precision. I will change it a bit to the higher and I want to change geometry scaling because actually our geometry scaling will be extra large. Let's apply it. So now we will not will see any problem. Okay, we have now the rectangular, but actually I don't need it. I need rectangular only to find the center. So again I need the code block, so let's double click on the left bottom of the mouse and let's write R or any the letter of you want, center, center and brackets. Okay and after that uh, we need to do like this and after that again let's use the again R, you should use the same now letter and now point, points and again like this. Okay, as you can see now problem because we need to connect our rectangular to the R and what you can see we find the center of this rectangular. Yeah, of course you can use the sum node from the um, library if you will find, uh, but uh, I find this way more, um, more faster and as I said we want to optimize our work so we are already starting to optimize it. Okay. So after that I wanna take a list because I know the dots I can you can see now one dot, second dot, third and four dot here. So we can separate. I wanna separate dot. I will do every, every all the separates I will do the manually. Why I'm doing the manually? Because I wanna uh, show you how you can do it manually with the long way of course. Uh, if you are special specialist or professional in uh, Revit, of course, I mean in Dynamo, of course, you can do by uh, your knowledge. But who, people who didn't know that, use the my way, you not will uh, fall uh, with some problems. So let's find the list. We need the list. We need to find the list. Let's use the list, but not just the list. We need take items. So take items. Of course, items. Let's find it like this. Uh, maybe a take. Oh yeah, take items. Okay, here is my take items. As you can see here outside, I get four points. One, two, three, four. But I don't know which one is which one. So let's uh, try to find it. I will connect now my points to the list. I will close this one. And you will see now I get here nothing. 
because we need to uh, put here amount. Let's double click again, left click and uh, use the number two because we need only two points. I need only two these points or only two these points. Let's connect it to the amount. So what we get, just click on that and you can see this and this point, pretty cool. This is what I want. So the first list we have. So after that, I need the other list. I need a list of these points. As you understand, I need to use the minus two, minus two. And again, don't forget this thing. Okay, we need again the list items. Let's copy it and let's connect minus two to the amount. And as you can see, now we get these two points. As you can see, we separate all four points by two different points. And now we can create arc. Yes, of course, if you are watching the my Dynamo uh, tutorials, you already know how to create the arcs. Anyway, anyway, the arcs, it's really important. Don't forget about it. Anyway, before we will start, uh, I want to actually deconstruct it. Let's deconstruct the list. List. Deconstruct. Okay, here is list deconstruct. And now we can separate these two points by again one more two points so we need it to do to just make our life easy i know wanna now find these two points and these two points i already deconstruct each point one by one so now i have four points as you can see here just one by one so this is makes my life easy so what we're gonna do now next uh, we need um create the line actually let's create the line line and we need to create a line uh, line by start and end point so here the line one start but by end point so and what we're gonna do we of course will connect these two lines here so we get one line it's here as you can see it's here and now I will copy it and I will connect to that one and we get the other one line as you can see on this side this is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do next? Next we will uh, create uh, uh, the. I wanna find the point. Uh, actually, why I need this line? Because I wanna find the middle point. I don't have any middle point right now, and I wanna make it parameterized. So it always will be in the middle. Uh, to find it, I need the line. So this is pretty simple. Uh, so let's find the uh, this point like curve dot point at point at parameter uh, because our line is 0 and 1 uh, as you understand we need to find 0 0.5 this is will be uh, exactly the middle so let's connect our curve here and let's write here 0 0.5 and connect to the parameter and we have the found our dot as you can see the same thing here let's copy it and let's connect line to the curve and we found this point and this point actually we don't need now this line just right click and uh, preview off because now I don't want to use any preview and here I will unpreview and let's unpreview our rectangular too because I don't want to see it now we can see only the dots so what I want actually it's working I just switch off the my preview so <coughs> what we will do next Next, we will should find uh, some. We need one more point under this point. So we actually don't need this point. We need to move this point on the some height. Okay, so how we can do that? Uh, of course, we should use geometry translate. So this is like a move in Revit. So let's find geometry. Geometry. Dot translate. Trans translate. So it's here, uh, and we, as you can see, we already have like oh, not this one. I don't want this one use. I want to use this one. Okay, because we have here direction, and as you can see here, we have the point geometry point to the geometry, and now we should use direction. So uh, because why I need that, I want to use my own direction here. Let's copy it and here we will use direction geometry too i want to separate it maybe i will change some of the form that's why and now right click and i need vector bar coordinate vector by 
by coordinates. Okay, here. Let's connect vector to the direction, vector to the direction. And here one tricky thing. As you know, our size of the um, of the our um, future arcs it's four meter. Uh, actually, I want to calculate every time. And uh, what I will do that. I will make uh, the some tricky thing. Like uh, let's say this is four meter. It will be x divided by um, two. So yeah, of course you can use the some um, code blocks, but for me it's more easiest to use like this. As you can see here, we will get two meter. So and let's connect two meter to the uh, z direction. And as you can see on the background, we found this dot. Now I will highlight it. As you can see, here is our dots. One and second one. Okay. So this is pretty cool because we are uh, actually now uh, near to the create the arc. Let's create the arc. Arc by three points here. Okay. So. As you understand, this is our middle point. Let's connect to the middle point. This is our first point. Let's find this first point. Let's un unhide it, this one. I don't need this point because it's making mistakes. You can make mistakes and now you can see only three points. Let's say we'll do it's more useful for you like this and a bit closer. I don't need any pen now. Okay, and let's find other dots. Okay, here is my first dot. Let's connect to the first. And here is my last dot. Let's connect to the last. And we get the uh, arc. Let's do the same thing here. Here is my first dot. Here is my last dot. But my middle point is here. Let's connect it. And we get the arc. Uh, so far, so good. OK. So what we're going to do next? Actually, we're not finished because uh, we need now to create uh, actually whole polygons for that one. But we will do it later on. Now we will create arc for this that side and that side too. So I will get like arcs everywhere. So how we can do that? Actually, pretty same. We know all dots, so we no need start from the zero. We will start. We will start from this this side. Let's do again uh, one by one things. Okay, so I will unconnect everything and I will switch on this thing. Let's preview it and I need to uh, find the dots. This dot and I think that dot. Let's check it out. No, not this dot. Yes, so we find the uh, other points and find. let's find the uh, one more points. Okay, so as we know, this is first will be connect to the here and this last will be connect to the this one. So we find the other points. Now we should find the middle of this point, so pretty same. So let's find the middle of this points. We will leave uh, parameter like as this, it's 0 0.5. Let's connect line to the curve. We find the 0, okay, I mean the 0 0.5. It's now on switch off, let's switch on to see it. As you can see here is dot. Let's do the same thing for that side. Let's connect curve to the curve and we find these two points, pretty awesome. So far, so good. Let's unswitch off this one because it make your it's a, unfreeze it. Uh, and I will leave the point for now as it is. And now we should create the, the um, move. We should move it. Uh, I will leave the my vector bar coordinates as same. I will just change my geometry because the vectors it will be same. Let's connect point by point. And as you can see, we find these two dots. Okay, now we can unswitch off the these uh, points, and you can see we should connect this point, that point, and that point to create the arc. So we need again create the arc. So and I will unswitch off everything here. So we will start from this point. Okay, let's have a look. This uh, node, it's this middle point. So let's connect it. Now we should find this point. Let's find it. I think this point is the first one. Let's try it. And let's connect this is last one. First and last. Okay. I I got it. As you can see, we get right. So let's do the same thing with the last point. Yeah, I know this is pretty uh, hard to understand, but uh, that's why you should uh, watch the previous video to understand how to manipulate with the dots. We can optimize, uh, optimize it, we can make it more simple, but this way 
it's hardest one and after that you will understand everything about the points you can manipulate as you want so this like motivation uh, speech okay let's connect uh, the last point of the deconstruct to the first and first point from the construct to the last and we get all our lines so all our arcs it's here finally we are a bit under the finish but it's not finished yet we now should create like closed geometry so we need this line let's find ways our lines so curve point no it's not aha uh -huh. line by parameter okay this is what i want let's switch on just to check it where is it uh-huh this is this this line okay so now i need connect that arc and that uh line like a one thing so how we can do that again we need the list let's find the list create the list we need now two dots i mean the two parameters let's connect arc and line so now as you can see when i'm select this uh, uh, list I will select all these things. Now I can unswitch off this arc and this line. Do it properly, because if you will switch on everything, you not will understand what are you doing. Okay, so again we need again one more list. Let's do again one by one. We need this arc. Where is this arc? Uh huh, this one. And we need the line. Let's waste my line. It's already hard to understand, but we can do the everything. Let's switch on this line. Uh huh. This is line. Let's check it out. Yeah, this line. I will unswitch off right now, and I will connect this line to this point. Okay. As you can see, we get this. Unswitch off. Again, we need now for two this more uh, type things. Again, we need two list. Let's create now two list. Everywhere we need two by two. I will connect now straight away my arcs. Okay. Let's check it out. Uh huh. This is this arc. Let's check it with my uh, point. Uh -huh, this is my point. I think is this one. Let's check it out. Uh -huh, this one, right? And let's connect this line to the list and unswitch off. And the same thing here. I think this is last one. We will find it. Okay, where is that? Where is that? Uh -huh, the last point and end point. Okay, let's connect. Okay, as you can see, we have now four lists, four list of fully geometric. I mean the fully um, profile because this is profile but Revit not understand is it profile or no because uh, for him for Revit this is now list of the curves so we need transfer it like poly curve let's transfer it like poly curve poly dot curve oh not dot curve poly curve uh, by joint by joint i think this one let's check it out curve join not 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 this one why mm, uh, by joint curve mm -hmm, this one let's we need four four of them and one more and just connect list to the curves done list to the curves list to the curves and one more list to the curves Let's select one of them, and now this is join geometry. Let's unswitch off our list. We don't need it right now. Unswitch off it. Okay, so now we have uh, union geometry. I mean the union of the curves. So, what we're gonna do next? Actually, we're already under the finish. Uh, we need join now this curve. I mean the profile and this profile. This profile and this profile so two by two again so now you understand we need to create the list let's create the list again uh, we will do it manually we will do like uh, with the a lot of the nodes but you will understand everything so let's create it and we have two lists let's straight away create the poly curve because after list we again need to pure poly curve let's create it and let's create this one so I need connect th that one and that one, that one, and that one. Okay, and let's unswitch off again everything. Unswitch off, unswitch off, and two more. Okay, why I did that? And this one I need to. 
because the last one this is like a union curve and this one like a union curve nice so so far so good because uh, now we will create geometry finally you will say okay so let's go to the uh, library and find solid solid by loft by loft okay this is first one and let's connect now this is poly curve here and we get our solid and we need one more let's create copy it and let's create here we get two our solids everything okay but the problem is uh, first we don't have any thickness here and it's not looks like what I show you in uh, when we will start so let's uh, modify it so and for now for now we need uh, union it so let's find solid union let's find solid union like Soviet Union and let's connect to the solid to the solid so we get one union form so this is form main one but we need extrude from this main one other form how we can do that we need geometry scale let's find geometry scale so this is first one. Oh, not not first one I need the XYZ so yes this is what I want and let's connect now this geometry uh, yeah this geometry we will do one by one to here we connected and now what I wanna do I wanna create again code block and let's create two so like we will uh, do two times smaller and 0 0.9 and let's connect it uh, actually we will extrude and we will extrude two times more and we will make the uh, it's uh, two uh, to the 10 percent smaller let's connect this one to the uh, x-axis oh no not, not the x to the y now you will see we will extrude it and we will do it a bit smaller if you will see now it's now a bit smaller and after that we will only just subs uh, we will just uh, unjoin from this uh, union uh, from this uh, solid okay and we need one more geometry scale for the first geometry for this one everything same just change direction we need just change the direction for that one let's connect solid to geometry and as you can see we need change direction from the y to the x so and we get the same result so again we need union let's union it let's union this geometry and this geometry we have the main geometry which is bigger and we have the smaller geometry which is smaller let's unswitch off everything what we, what we no need we no need that one we no need that one actually we need only two last to this one and uh, i will unswitch off to much easier understand what's going on here this poly curve i can leave so we have one geometry and it has second geometry and now we need get the difference between the solid let's find the solid difference okay here is the first and we need connect our main geometry and our difference so let's unswitch off this one and let's unswitch off that one and we get the our shape let's have a look how it looks like as you can see this is canopy as I want pretty cool right and it's fully parametrical if you think uh, on this stage we cannot change anything we can if you will go here for example and I will change for example here will be 5 and here will be 5 too just check it out now it's much bigger let's make here the 6 and here the 6 and it's going bigger and bigger so it's fully parametrical from the 0 you can manipulate with that and do everything what you want it's like a grasshopper so let's go back at in at uh, actually it's not finished we should now um, uh, array it so we need to array this geometry how we can do that we need actually we cannot array because we don't have it array here but we have geometry translate as you know if you uh, copy your uh, if you wanna uh, move your um, geometry uh, dynamo will automatically copy it so this is what we want so let's find geometry geometry translate 
translate here. So if I will do straight away my geometry to geometry, and for example, I will change uh, direction. Let's say I want to change direction to the 4 meter, because our geometry is 4 meter, right? So like this, I will get only one copy. This is not I want. What if I want more than one copy? So the, here is tricky way. You should do some code things. Zero is from uh, which point you want to start. Double dot. After that, you will say till what uh, the mm, distance you want. Let's say 15, uh, 15 meter. Again, two dots. And after uh, how many dots you will copy it from the four meter. Let's do it. And as you can see, each four meters till it's get 15 meters, it will be copied. So if I will do here, for example, 16, you will get one more copy. If you will do here 20, you will get one more copy. So it's working like this. Pretty, I think it's pretty easy. So, but what if I want array for the other direction too? So you should connect this one to the y direction. But you will get this one. So, actually it's not wrong, you did everything right. You just need the translate geometry uh, like a list. Just right click on your uh, geometry translate and find here lacing and use the cross product. It will take time because now you will have a lot of that things. So you get your geometry as you can see. Now it's workable geometry. You can use it in Revit. And as you can see, you get a result of that. Pretty cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do next? Actually, it's not finished because most of you are asking me how you can use it in Revit. Because in Revit, you now have nothing, only geometry from the Dynamo. But you cannot work with that. We need import it. Let's find import instance. Import instance uh, geometry. And just connect geometry to geometry. Just give the, some time to Revit thinking, because now it's real geometry in Revit. And we will uh, switch on now to the Revit, and I will change my view to the 3D view. Just give you some seconds. Okay, it's done. Let's go to 3D in uh, Revit. And let's check it out how it looks like. As you can see, here is my geometry. It's real geometry. I can use it. I can create, for example, from this I can create a wall, let's say. I can modify it right now in the Dynamo and it will be modified too. So this is working like this. As you can see, it's real geometry. Of course you can work some, or you know, start can work with this some points because as you can see I did some mistakes. Uh, let's check it out because uh, I want to fix it up. Uh, I did mistakes with uh, that point, as you can see it's going exactly to the zero. I don't like it. So I think this is extrusion. My extrusion is Z and U. Okay, and let's check it out on this side. Z and X. To the Z. Actually, as you can see here, I have the small, <laughs> small mistakes. Uh, I didn't use here the X direction and here I didn't use the Y direction. This is a mistake because I should use it. Uh, just connect 0 0.9 to the X direction and you will see now the differences. As you can see now we get here the thickness and let's connect this one to the Y direction. And now we will get here also the thickness as you can see. So now everything right. So, and now we can again transfer our geometry to the uh, Revit to get more pretty nice result. Let's transfer it one more time and it's finished and congratulations, you did your first complex geometry by Dynamo. So it's finished, let's check it out. So here is my geometry. As you can see, now we have the thickness. Um, yes, this is what I want. Actually, we can uh, not, not use the 4 meters, as you can see here, because it's connecting uh, straight away here. 
but anyway we get the result as you can see here is we get the um, something like it's not extrusion let's say I'll check it out I will delete everything and I will go inside to the my dynamo where is my dynamo let's say I'll find my dynamo oh my PC is still thinking okay uh huh here the problem as you can see let's check it out because uh, now I have the gap here two connecting to connecting to the y direction I will delete now instance and to connect into z direction it was my mistake and as you can see everything now all right okay so as you can see you can manipulate uh, with your geometry you can create what you want and actually it's not so so hard as you can uh, think so just watch my previous tutorials this model you will find uh, under the my store and so it will be totally free you just can download it for free uh, and of course uh, the script you also will find there uh, if you are my patreon you will find it's under the patreon with the geometry with some specials um, uh, some special things like maybe I will put there, there some uh, Python script too. So thank you guys for watching. If you find this really helpful, uh, if you have the, some questions, don't forget ask me. Uh, don't forget like uh, for this video and of course share it. Thank you guys and see you next time.